Today in our old stamps, we're going to visit Netherlands. Now these are beautiful. And these are some of the older ones that I have. This is from 1898 to 1921. Okay, and we start with our first one. In the green and white, that's three. Then we have the red and white for five. Then in the second row, we get into the gray and white for ten. Then the green and white for twenty. And the brown and white for thirty. Look how beautiful they are. All the same portrait, all the same design, just different values and different colors. That's a very good collection right there. And if you notice that last one, the 30, in the brown and white, that one is the first to go through the second printing because the portrait inside is black and white. And if you're ever so lucky, to get the writing and the picture to be opposite of each other. You know, say the writing's the right side, but the picture's upside down. You're going to want to get that one right away graded and sent to an auction because you're going to make some good bucks on that. So this is pretty cool. All right, let's go to our second group of stamps. the second group. Now these are all numbers and they're from 1924 to 1949. First in the one and a half you have your purple. Then in the uh, orange one is two cents. In the green is two and a half. Then in the lime kind of green is a three. Then you get into your second row and you have a nice blue in your four, a green in five, a brown and white in a seven and a half, and then a green in forty. Just numbers all the same, just different numbers for different value. I really like it how when they have like one and a half cent and two and a half cent, seven and a half cent. You know, it's like in the old days they had half cents. You know, it was kind of cool. Every now and then you'll come across someone cut a penny and a half. You know, when you're playing with change, it's really unreal. <laughs> but hey, things were cheaper in the old days. Can you imagine having to cut pennies in half to buy something? Pretty cool, huh? Can't do that today. There's nothing that's going to be a half a cent for you. Okay, now we get into these. And these are some more like that first group of being super old. From 1898 to 1921. Okay, and this is when they did the numbers. You have a one-half. Again, can you imagine if you went half a penny for a stamp? Apparently, you must have had to buy two. You know, otherwise they got an awful lot of half pennies cut up all over the place. Can't do that to the money. Okay, and you have a one in the red and white. Then in your second row, you have a two in the brown and white. A two and a half in the green and white. And a beautiful blue in the five. Now this is 1898 to 1921. Can you imagine way over a hundred years old just little pieces of paper very thin and they're still around. That's kind of cool to have. Alright now this next one is very different. Now you know how I always say if you find them in twos together keep them together because they're more valuable that way. So here you have two of them. From 1965. You can see the 1965 in the bottom 
left hand corner. Ain't that cool? Alright, hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and by all means, share the video with others. I'm sure a lot of people would like to see stamps from the 1800. It seems like so long ago. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.